Hi class, I wanted to give you some video feedback and please look at all of the reviews because this will help you. Uh, you will be giving a review of one of your peers also, so that will be uh, beneficial for you to go through. There are some things everybody needs to think about. It doesn't mean that everybody uh, has to do this. Maybe you've done this already, but everyone always needs to make sure that every template, um, placeholder, image, text placeholder, any of those things are removed. I sometimes get sites that are built on a template and they've created three or four pages that look fine, but click on a button and it takes me to uh, a page that is from the template and it's the full template. Um, so just be very thorough about that and going through and doing that. Everybody make sure you update your copyright. I know there are some that have been created last year. Please update it to 2020 at the very least. Um, and if you make a 100 this week, that doesn't mean your site is necessarily complete, right? Um, it just means that you met the benchmark for the soft launch. Um, some are definitely going to be more complete than others, all right? Uh, your goal is to provide as few clicks and scrolling as possible. You don't want the user to have to go through quite so much. Um, so that said, we're going to go through and I'm going to be looking at these as a first time user. I have actually looked at them. I don't, I try not to, but I have. And, um, but I'm going to try and go through as if I've never seen it before so I can test the usability and uh, just everything about it. Um, I haven't looked at every page. All right, formative films. Um, we always make sure, you guys, that, uh, of course, your cover image uh, has the contrast that you can read. This works. I think, I believe this isn't quite centered enough. It could be that it is responsive, and when I close that window, it's going to shift a little bit and bring this, you know, center here. Um, you might need to do something with that. In fact, I think I would rather see these stacked. Um, in this situation. I also want to see those click. Yes, good. Be very mindful. It's not too bad, except here it is. Okay, when you get here, um, this all looks great. And I've checked your site, but this, okay, that makes me wonder if this is yours. And I've seen your Instagram, which makes me think that it is, but, you know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder when I see uh, that placeholder. This page here, that text is uh, competing, and so that's an issue there. Placeholder text we want to go through, and you're going to provide that asset uh, explanation here, the details of what you did. Uh, with a particular project. Also, you probably aren't free to use the guest logo. Okay. Um, mm, not sure about this. So I think that we definitely need some completion. All right. For sure. For sure. So the next time I see these, you guys, there should be zero placeholder images or text, okay, zero. Um, you simply won't make the grade, okay, and you might be surprised. So be sure that those are changed. So that's, that's the biggest thing, okay, is making sure you have original work. And I would have, um, if you're comfortable with it, an image of you, but you don't have to. This probably could come in just a little bit, just a little, maybe bring that in just so when they're on a screen that, uh, you know, full screen that it isn't too tight. All right. Okay. Otherwise it's, it's going to work out just great. I'm excited to see it next time. Okay. Becca, I would use one of these images. Um, yeah, I would choose. OK, 
Okay, and I would choose the one that's most in focus. You may need to make a new one. Make sure there's padding here. You need space uh, between these images for sure. This logo, be very careful, you guys, with photographs because they don't always resize very well. And you want something that you could put on a business card or anything to be your logo. I like this concept. You know, where it gets tricky is when students use, try to be very um, literal about the fact that they're a cinematographer or something and they have to have a film. This is an incredible way to say it, okay? So uh, your logo, I clear that a little. Think about if that's the cleanest font you can get, but this is very sleek, modern, and I haven't seen it done. I would get rid of the image and I would work with this somehow. Um, if it means you might need a sans serif, that means a font without a, you know, the uh, swirls and little swashes on them. Just block lettering, uh, something modern. This might be too lightweight, but I'd try it. Uh, and see if you can do that somehow, play with that. But this is lovely, but it's really not a logo. Okay, it's not going to work for you that way. Okay, I see about three different fonts here. I see this one, this one, and this one. Think about this one to go with that. That could just be really neat. Uh, okay, and your links are working up. Copyright. Okay. All right, so when I go to my about, okay, I think, you know, this is a great image, very sharp. You got that catch light in the eye. This is nice. Um, you got Canon there. That's, you know, has to be blurred. So I think what I would do, I think this and this, this is good, shows you're working, this is good. Um, but I would take, this I, This felt like an about page. Okay, it started to. So put one of your works here instead, something sharp. Um, and let's go that way. Someone else obviously took those pictures. Let's put this for your about. Yeah, I would be careful. This one isn't as, I'm sure there's a story to it, but as far as for someone who hasn't doesn't know anything about it, I would narrow these down a little bit. And, you know, again, you're going to clean that up. Left align all that. You guys only need about three really your best pieces. If you don't have a lot, that's okay. Just make sure it's your best. Left align all of the uh, body copy, the paragraphs. And probably there's something in here. This is an interesting image. This is an interesting image. This is also. Uh, you want to, everyone wants to use a grid. This is gridded, it's aligned, vertical and horizontal. Okay, only put your best stuff and bring it up close. Let's go straight into the videos and photography. And this isn't real sharp, so I wouldn't make it your first work. And like I said, I don't know if this is yours or not. Uh, it's somebody else's art possibly, so that you have to watch. But you want to get straight into the content. Yeah, reduce reduce some of your images, be selective. And this is nice, but you know, it's not fitting with your color work, so you gotta be careful. But let's let's get straight into your work and let's not make this so big because it's uh, not sharp enough. So you do wanna choose your best image to be your thumbnail. You guys, something really sharp. This is sharp and nice. Okay, you won't need this twice, okay? So that you wanna take care of. All right, I'm excited to see this next time. All right, good job. Okay, this needs to be a little bigger and 
streamlined, can't read it, right? And you don't have to have an image for a logo. You can have your name or a particular type uh, that becomes, you know, uh, recognized. This image popped up earlier a little slow. It's sharp, but it needs to be optimized so that it doesn't take so long to load. Uh, it does compete a little bit with the image and the text. Make sure you're not using too many fonts. I'm not a fan of italicized uh, fonts that much. Now, if this is your logo and you bring that up just a little bit closer, um, then that can work, like right here. FSL and a slant, that could work uh, with production underneath it or beside it. Unlocking imagination. That's a nice uh, slogan, but it's not necessarily a tagline. Your tagline is going to tell us what you do. Okay, something very short that just says what you do. We're, I think, what you need here, if you're going to keep this, it's kind of a fun image. I would, uh, first of all, this has to be white or something. It's not, we can't see it right away. Uh, I would put a block behind this that has maybe 10%, 10 to 20% uh, opacity, a light color. Um, probably you could try a darker color, but uh, so that this breaks apart from the background. Um, yeah, play with that color. Uh, this appears to be placeholder, which would be fine if you were a musician or something and you're not creating content. Okay, uh, Take the at off. We don't end sentences with ats. Capitalize that I. These are details that make the client have faith in you or not. Okay, Because uh, the work that we do is very detailed. And so they want to know that you're going to catch everything and that you're going to know how to make those fixes. So I see this far too often. It happens to me too, but you have to go back and fix that. And you have to use a, I'm always telling you guys, to use one of your grammar checks and your spell checks. Okay, I would like to see this fixed. Freeze this. Uh, in Wix, that's all you have to do is freeze your navigation because we lose your navigation as we get down here. Okay, we are we don't have many options. And we have a little too many uh, fix that. We have too many social media links. Okay, just you know, put it um, put it at the bottom or or something, uh, remove some of these like members and put it over here. Um, but take that out, you know, um, it's way too much when all we need are a few little icons and people understand what that is. Okay, so uh, videos goes to, you're gonna need something that says videos. Okay, take all this out and uh, let the video section come to, you know, have a, a break here, uh, white or whatever, and uh, put videos and then start those. They are aligned. That's great. Let's get a thumbnail for this that's really sharp. Uh, everybody, I know that, you know, we, we have a lot of... Uh, horror clips and all those things, Halloween clips, that's awesome. When you are choosing your thumbnail, try not to choose anything that has violence or basically an angry or, or frightened face. That's not something a user is going to naturally want to click on because we are naturally uh, repelled by that. We, you know, we are, that's a danger sign. And so we retreat, we don't go towards it generally. Um, so you want to make sure that you're choosing things. This could be interesting, right? But don't choose a thumbnail like this, you guys. I see it all the time that, you know, doesn't, isn't inviting. 
It's one thing to have it in the clip, sure, but let's not make it your thumbnail, okay? This needs a sharp thumbnail. This probably needs a better thumbnail. That shadow and stuff, you may have a better one. Let's take this out. It's not yours. I'm not sure it's needed at all. Uh, maybe just a form here and contact written in the same font that you're going to put here that's going to be the same as your other uh, things. Let's take that link out. I do not need it. Okay, uh, we don't actually even have contact here. Okay, we don't have a contact number. Um, so let's work on that. That's overlapping your contact, maybe? Okay. Uh, let's see, and then this you can get rid of. You don't need this. Okay, contact goes last. So you're gonna uh, get down to like four pages and that's gonna be fine. You don't really need that. Okay, all right. And here you're going to put videographer or whatever you are. You will be working on the uh, Google Trends and you will know what to put there. All right. Okay, ATS. Uh, I do want to see a menu. That's the main thing here. Okay. Um, and make sure you're not overlapping font. You see how this is? That you've got to... Uh, get rid of that. And I would open with these shots. Okay, I would not open with the actual skin uh, because that, and, and these things, you know, I don't know if you own that because that could be an issue. Uh, but, you know, and that's okay, that's okay, but it gets to be a little much right here when it's touching the skin. Um, but that's your call, not mine. You know, I care about the quality and overlapping and things like that. Uh, and some of the psychology. This works really well. Is that yours? Or I'm not sure, but um, if it came from Wix. But it works well. It drops back. This looks good. This looks good. Uh, this is working. Works, works. I'm inclined to want to see another one, but not bad. Uh, previous? Okay, yeah, because I looked through that. Okay. All good. Again, this is kind of in my face, but you know, it's just me. Think about your audience. If if I'm not your audience, and I'm probably not, then that's cool. But I like this. I do like those. Um, I'm you know, I'm kind of assuming this is yours. It, maybe it isn't, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I need to find your template to find out. I don't want to say it isn't. Um, I like this worked for me. Uh, again, I don't have the navigation, so I can't see where things are landing. You'll have to be really careful about that. It's a great photo. You know, I'm inclined to say bring it up and align this. Um, it really depends on where it's breaking when we hit this page. This feels like it should be a link, and it isn't. So just make sure it's an invite. Um, so, okay. It's, parallax scrolling is really hard. It's got to fall back. Um, okay. All right, so that's my input on that, All right? I do want to see changes, okay? I want to see the updates. All right, love this. It's nice. Tell us what you do. Okay, also. Okay. All right. This one. There we go. Uh, I feel like we should bring this over 
and you know do you need a search and does it need to take up that much room I don't know if you have a lot of work then yes this is competing a little bit right here but otherwise it's sharp work and I like how that's working. You've got your tagline here, perfect. You're being consistent with your text, awesome. You've got a kind of a hand script and then a sans serif, so that works well together. Um, as long as we can read it. And so far you haven't used it in such a small way that we can't. All right. All right. In the future, you're going to want to get catch light in there so you're not looking dead-eyed, okay? It's a great photo. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just letting you know because someday you'll get another one. And that's what you want to make sure whoever's shooting uh, gets that catch light in your eye, for one thing. Okay, good. You're telling us exactly what you do. Perfect. Okay, this is a picture of words. So what you need to do, this has to be entered. And, uh, yeah, because it's none of this is searchable. And you have a search bar, uh, but none of this is. And so if somebody was looking for you or looking for these things, uh, they wouldn't be able to find it. So really important. This can be um, a small downloadable, but it for SEO uh, and your website, it has to be entered and hopefully all of this is identical to, to what you have on your LinkedIn. And those of you who don't have a resume yet, you should um, have a list of clients. Um, if you don't have a large list, that's fine. You could say selected clients. You could just say your experience, um, your education, that kind of thing. If you're not sure, I would start with LinkedIn because they have a format. And if you go through and fill all that in, then you might be able to then just go from that and have your resume. You can also update it as you go along uh, in LinkedIn. And it's kind of a nice place to store it in a nice organized way. And then it will be consistent if you create your resume from those dates and those locations and so forth. Uh, and in the same order. All right. Um, I'm not going to read all of this uh, because sometimes things do jump out to me, but uh, you should all be getting a uh, critique from a student, your peer, who's going to uh, spend hopefully a lot of time going through every detail, as you should make sure you're using a spell check and grammar check. Uh, okay, some of, okay, uh, some aren't as sharp as others. This is sharp. I like this image, but I guess if it were me, I would go back and get those um, bars out there. Um, this probably. Good. Change the names of your files, everybody. Okay. Keep them simple, but take off that, you know, 53 JPEG kind of thing. Um, okay, this one isn't really sharp enough. The layout's good, but it's just too fuzzy. Okay, so I'm afraid that one would have to go in that situation. All right, uh, here's the thing. And also this is dropping down on this, so that has to move. 
Okay. Uh. All right. Here's here's an issue. I'm curious about copyright on that, but here's the thing. We can't have so many things, so many different services, unless they are completely um, organized. And I think this one is getting you way off track. You've got broadcasts and graphics, film and photography. Uh, I'm going to say you're going to stick with film and photography I think I would move this off. If not, you're going to have to change this to media. Okay, visual media or or something. Um, film and media, because you, you've, you have to find a way to organize these. And right now this is kind of an outsider, as is the broadcast. Okay. So these two things can be on your resume, but I don't know that they're going to help you get what you want. Um, they can be there, but, but you have to be very careful about the umbrella. Like maybe if you say film and photography, then um, I know we're, maybe this needs to come up here and photography underneath it and then graphic design, and then broadcast. Okay. okay, that popped up a little slow, so it has to be optimized, all right? Okay, all right, terrific. Um, make those changes before you resubmit, all right? Good job. Okay, uh, got a little bit of a color issue for me. This needs to be sharper and I would take it in and adjust the color to be more like the blue. Okay. That you're using. That seems like a unnecessary link. This is too close, right? We need some space there. Yeah, you could even bring this over here and bring these up a little bit and you'd have less scrolling. It might be cleaner. Uh, this, I'm not sure it fits. You might want to put that there and then we don't have to scroll. This is, you know, a little tight there. Um, you have it saying the same thing twice. So I don't know that you need this quite like that. Like I say, when you hit play, it doesn't. So look at that. Restructure that. Space there. This doesn't have to be so big either. Um, could be, and I don't mind that this is like this um, on this page, you know. You might say, you know, We give big results on a shoestring budget. Sharper. Okay. 
we've gotten into a different font. You want to be very careful about that. Okay. Eventually, you're going to want, I think, another image. These don't really match as far as uh, brand, tone. I'm not sure uh, what the tone is. Is it humorous? Is it uh, professional? If it's humorous, then they both need to be humorous. If it's um, professional, then they both need to be very professional. Uh, yeah, we just got to clean up some of the type for one thing. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing this again. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's change the copyright. Okay. Um, here's the thing. When I see this, I start to think, that maybe it's not that it's not all your work. I don't know if it's the template or not. Um, I hope that it's yours. But I am not seeing this Deshaun. I'm seeing Matt Whitby. So that's an issue. Um, okay. Problem, problem. Okay. All right. So we got to have some updating going on here. Okay, so uh, you've got to put your own images in here. All right, this is uh, someone else's photography. Uh, so all this has to be updated. All right. No templates, no uh, stock footage, no replacing with other people's work. All that has to be updated in order to, to move forward. All right. I looked through these, some of these. Um, I didn't mean to, but they were uh, pretty engaging. Uh, the photography is really good, the filming. Uh, you know, you've got catch light, you've got nice uh, backgrounds working, nothing's competing. It's really good work. Um, this, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, that's not text, so it's okay, but I feel like, I feel like it's not as uh, legible as it could be, given what it is. I mean, all these little lines... It's, it's not a deal breaker or anything, but think about it. It's whether it's scalable or not. Um, if you want that to be a point of any kind, you know, the rays. Okay. Uh, this almost gets lost, but I kind of want to see this up to here, right? So it's not so much headspace and a little more in like that. I know that means that you have to rearrange some things. Um, something to think about if you agree. All good. Make sure we're not using too many different fonts or spacing too many things unnecessarily. This one came up a little slower, but that's all right. Uh, okay. Let's move your contact to the outside. It's usually at the end. That's just a web standard. People are used to finding it there. Um, 
This feels like stock footage to me. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it, but I'm not sure why it's here. Okay, I just put, and there's an apostrophe that goes under after let's. Uh, but you might have a form, okay, instead of so much reading here. And I'm just not sure that this says cinematography, okay? So you don't have to have something down there. You can take it out. All right. Okay. Probably be a little sharper here. That's okay. Um, if this can come up a little. All right. Yeah, you're going to move that. This gets confusing being way over here. I mean, you have room to have a drop down. I don't usually love drop downs, but it it keeps us understanding that this is actually footage and not your business side. You know, like a service if you want to contact us, you can you know, arrange for different services. Um So here you have videos here you have documentaries, but they're still documentaries. So I think you make a choice there. Okay, you don't need both. All right, good job. Let's take some of this space out. Uh, you don't need this here if you're going to have it here. If this is a logo, it needs to be uh, probably a little heavier text. This uh, serif, you know, they can get very thin. So be careful about that. Uh, you know, this bold works better. Maybe it goes up here. And maybe you don't have to introduce it. And then we have it again with a different font. So that can't happen either. This is the logo which comes up here and all this gets taken out. It's cut off. And I feel like it's not created in Illustrator, so it's one thing you could have this swash, and it could be, you know, here um, or here, I think here, and then take all this out, okay? And don't have this on top, just have the swash and the color, and that becomes your brand color. Uh, placeholder texts and images, that's got to go. This is the template. Uh, that's really all I can say about that. Left align, get rid of placeholder images. We've all seen this. Um, things like it. So let's, you know, think about what you do. Okay, placeholders. Stock. Okay. All right, so we need to see some, uh, need to see some work uploaded. Um, nobody needs a lot of stuff, but we've got to have at least three of your top pieces. They should be high quality res, but not so high that they load slowly. All right. All right. Okay. Sometimes the biggest thing with writers is they just need a little bit of editing. They like to write uh, and maybe layout. So this is very tiny. Doesn't make it a logo. It's just too small hard to read, and it's not created in Illustrator. You can just have this be your logo, 
and you can make it this um, berry, raspberry color and have it be something else when you roll over it, maybe the pink. Um, make it otherwise raspberry instead of black. Take that out, move that up. Uh, services, the storyteller in me. This seems like an about section. Um, align everything. This comes outside that line. If you're going to use this style, if you've created this yourself, grab this, bring it up, curve that, curve that, bring that in, um, exaggerate a little. There's really, this is more of a logo at a quarter of the size, right? It's not doing anything. If you had a I don't know, immediately I think of a little hand-drawn animation going on uh, from zero to, from nothing to something. But um, think about that message center. This, I would just say contact instead of message center. I would bring that over and I would shorten all this. Probably you don't need to put that there. They probably don't need that. So you want less scrolling. I would bring this over a little. Uh, try whenever I see "shoot me," I I I advise to rewrite that. Um, it's a little long. People writers like to write it, but the web we know people don't read as much, so we want to cut that down. Bring it over to your left. Bring all this to the left align. Bring it up a little bit. Uh, that can be over here, that over here. Uh, make that one line over here, bring that in. Uh, I would say what comes to mind comes to right. You don't really have to say writer here because you've said it twice, so that you can probably get away with as a tagline. If we don't have a blog page, um, then we disable that, or you have more of it show, right, to where we don't have to go look for it, right? So. Uh, okay, if you're a writer, we don't want to start with, this is my first post, what do I say, okay? Uh, say anything, right? But, but let's not sell yourself short. Let's not say that, all right? Okay. You can disable it if you don't have a blog yet, although that seems to be what you uh, should be working on, right, is a blog. And really, you only need like two pages. You don't really need that much. You could have the contact at the bottom. You can have about uh, and your blog. You don't need this or this. You don't need your services, in my opinion. You may need, um, now you've got, two contacts. All right, so there needs to be some cleanup, right? All right, I want to see that. Uh, this is fascinating to me. Keep in mind you have a period here and not here, so the brand could get jumpy there. Do you want to put a period here? Because it does look good here. Um, this is awesome. And this is clicking too. This is a different color. But it's not bad uh, if you're aware of it and using it, it's fine. I would close this up a little bit. Okay, you tell us what you do. Get that up a little bit. Uh, probably don't need this much. Probably get rid of some of that, close up some of that. Uh, you won't really need one, two, you don't really need it to be like this and shoot me. Um, you can put your email here, a contact form would be fine, and the social media.
can just be placed, you know, where you have it on the bottom of every page. That's fine. If you want it to be a bigger deal, then you can put it, you know, over here. Um, I want to see these match one way or the other. You decide. But I want to see those match. So we all know where we are. Um, I think I want this to come in. I don't want it to, it needs to wrap a little more. This needs to have a period or something. So double check that. See what you need to do there. All right. All right. Nothing wrong with being simple. Hard to read. Okay, so that font has to go. Um, this is okay. It needs some padding all the way around it. Uh, these don't... Let's see. Okay. All right. You don't need to say this because you say it up here. You don't need to say that. Uh, you don't need this at all. You don't need it at all. You've got it all up here. Okay, so you can take that out. Uh, you can make this another page if you want. So this just starts here. Is this the best image here? Because it's not matching your logo and stuff. Think about that. I would make a simpler font here. Uh, you know, more like this. Okay, so this works, except for this color. You can always, if it's not too late, if you don't have this on everything, like all your media carried through, you could adjust this, not, not lose too much lumen, um, of the, you know, saturation or anything, but you could push it towards another color that could match some of these things. Okay. All right. I'm not sure why this is here. I think I would get rid of that. Update this. You've already got this somewhere, so bring it down and just put your best work up here. Um, and again, I mean, maybe this isn't this color on black. Maybe this is, you know, white on navy or something. Um, if that's a lot of your work, then I think you're going to want to want to be able to do that. Um, could also just be red or white and not on this black box at all. Take that out. Okay. Uh, let's have these flat instead of rounded and a simpler text. I'm going to let this go, but I think a simpler text would be better instead of a display text. Try not to cut heads off. Nice. Uh, this is strangely cropped for that. This is cropping okay. Uh, and that, again, we've already seen it. This is a good one. Maybe put it here. This is a good one. Uh, I'm looking at what looks commercial. Okay. All right. These icons aren't working for you. None of these are. You do not need them. You don't need any of it. Uh, what you simply need is some of these have drop downs uh, in a form where you can ask them what 
they're interested in or you can tell them your services. I would take these icons out. Really all you need is this, this, and this because either you have a sample of a senior portrait or you don't, in which case you take it out. Um, sample of wedding or sports or you take it out. These may be things you want to do, but if you don't have samples, take it out. Take this whole thing out and just say photography and video. All right. And really all they have to do is contact you for that and just say, contact me to work with me or for a quote. So take this whole page out. And when you're doing any kind of icons, they need to all match, be in the same style. Okay. And I understand this, you know, it works with um, script writing and everything, but keep things a little more consistent. And so here you have that. Um, all right, so a little bit of shifting and you're going to be in a really good place. All right, good job. Okay, let's bring this up. Get that up. And, you know, I was wondering about this, if maybe one of these should be in a different style, you know. Uh, maybe this is a sans serif or this is a sans serif. Probably this. Okay. Uh, this won't always replicate, but I'm going to let it go for the moment. I try not to ask the question, who am I? Okay. But you've got about, you could go straight into this. You don't need that at all. Uh, and your about would go straight to here. Okay. This is can go with your work page. Even though I know it's about you. Uh, this, okay, so this is a pretty extensive about page, but that would be okay. This, this, and this, that's your about page. Okay, and instead of saying this, you're gonna say about, about Stephen, okay? And then you, we don't, now I know that we talk about my, you know, our backgrounds and stuff. Um, it's interesting that you have the U.S. Army Reserves, but we always want to think about, uh, as far as born in Maryland, be very careful, you know, you could say from Maryland, something very short when it comes to that, because maybe people will connect with you on where you're from. But here's the thing, you want to tell them in your about page what you could do for them, okay? So be very short on any personal background. It's it's not it's not the most important thing. All right. So it's possible that these could be cut down and uh but definitely let's let's move all this. Make sure none of that competes with anything. Okay, so that was different, wasn't it? That header's gone. Uh you want to create some asset details there to describe what your role was. That's super important. Whether you put it here and here aligned so that we know that it, you know what it's for, or you put it underneath it. Um, but then of course that is not working. So either that moves down, but even so I would move this up. Um, Yeah, I'm going to say it. I, I I think this should be in a font, even if it's this font, and not have that image behind it. Just go Stephen Kimball's and then Filmmaker aligned with Stephen. Okay, take this out. Stephen Kimball's, bring that up. You're going to get some space there, and you can take out one of those, which is probably this. Take that line out. Just have narratives there right here. Um Yeah, you won't need that, and that's going to clean up. Okay, 
I would just choose three of your best. Terrific. Put this under here in like a light blue or something that's not quite so in our face. It's still there. Uh, okay. If you don't have, it's good to have blogs and to write about these kinds of things. Um, but if you find yourself not writing about it, it needs to be disabled. Take this off. Okay. Nothing coming soon. Disable that page. Narrative and documentary is fine. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. We've got social up here and here. We don't need it in both. Okay. Bring that up. All right. That's going to look nice when you make that change. You're going to like it. I know you might find a hard time parting with it. All right. Uh, looking through this just you know you've got one font here one font here um one for your headers but i would stick to one font and uh, bring that up into a paragraph by its you know make the whole thing one in that situation uh, it gets really tight now here's something everybody should think about it when you are creating headers and so forth um, sometimes you have the option to make all caps. When you have descenders like this, that's a time when you can think about it, you know, what that would look like, because it would make it definitely a cleaner box if we get rid of these descenders. Um, this is a little distracting from this. You know, it's a little busy through here. And your logo, frankly, I think I would bring that P down here instead of bringing it like that and see if you can make it a, a P. But anyway. All right, this is nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, just, just clean up and know coming soon. But blogs are very helpful. All right. All right, I can, I think we have way too many uh, pages here for what you probably need. Probably the book online uh, isn't necessary. Take that off because it's not filled out. So what you seem to have are some examples. Take away all the placeholders. We see this template. This is not yours. Take it off. Okay. Um, that's for everybody. Take off everything that isn't yours. If you're a filmmaker, you need to shoot some, some work. If it's even around your house, just make sure it's good. It could be a still, but make sure it's good. Get rid of this. Okay, this is template. Template. Placeholder or stock, you can't use that. Go through your courses, figure out what you have. This says Video Dreamer, by the way, instead of Film Dreamer. Okay. Okay, so now I start to get into something of interest, something specific, but bring it all up. Bring it all up. And you wouldn't need this if this were clear and big enough to read that, if it were sharp enough. All right. 
These are going to Wix's social. So either take it off or, you know, update it. All right. So that's the main thing. Go through and pull out all template. That's what everybody has to do. Let's get rid of this box. Let's make this a little bit larger. This starts to look kind of humorous, so I would make the circles a different color. And this needs to be bigger, editor. Um, this is working, but we need to get into this quicker. And you do say you're an editor. Okay. I'd rather see that close up a little. Uh, in which case, all right. Take a look and see what you have the most of. These titles are really covering up some stuff in a way, but okay. Start getting consistent. This, uh, you want to take off things that are too personal. Everybody loves dogs, but you want to have things that show your photography. And for example, that's dark. We can't see the eyes, things like that. So it's beautiful because it's a dog. But this is better because it's photography. You want that sharp and that going away. And it's got the leading line. This is nice. Uh, this plate, not so much. I would probably go in and do something. But what's good is that you show interaction. And again, you've got some depth to it. This is good. Not, not as good. This isn't so sharp that it works. I would take that out. This works. I would crop it here and make sure it's super sharp here. That's kind of a thing. And this works okay. Um, this works. Okay. Make sure it's sharp. Okay, so you don't need that many. One, two, three four, five, maybe that. Yeah, but I would take those out. All right. The about, we don't, we don't need to, to have this be another click. Okay, just a click and we go straight here. Bring all this up, bring that up and over. It's a great shot. And again, I think you want to really focus on this kind of stuff. This, this, this. And, you know, maybe that and that. But these need to be your headers up here at the top when you first come out here. This should click right to who you are, not that. Bring it up. This. Think of this as a cake, the coloring of a cake. What would you do? Uh, make that bigger. Okay. Make sure, guys, that all your social media goes to your professional stuff and not your personal things. Um, this is okay. Uh, if it's your family, that's cool. Make sure, you know, you've got kids in here. So you got to be careful about that, putting kids on websites and so forth. Um, but, you know, it's good. I guess you're going to have to make that a little smaller so we can get all this in. That's a lot of space there. Okay, and you don't need to fill it up with text. So that's what you're going to have to do. All right. All right. Uh, I do like it. And I like um, where you're going with it. You don't need that box. Okay. We need to make sure uh, that your text is consistent. Uh, the spacing between images is all consistent. The width is consistent. These all have to be consistent shapes. Uh, this probably could be a whole page. I do like the warning. I do really like that. Um, maybe it's a warning to one page and on the page you have those things. Okay. And then you're going to put, uh, with that your description. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Where did it go? Let's 
Okay, so somehow... It's trying to get away from that. And... It needs to open up in a new window. That's what has to happen there. Um, okay, so yeah, I would just have a page there, a button. And not all of these and on each put put them on one page in a grid and uh, a little bit of asset description for each and align them all. Okay, this isn't taking me to tutorial, so there's there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done. The main thing is to spend time on these things. It's not hard. It does just take time. Okay. Uh, okay. Too much template. All right. Eventually, you're going to simplify your logo. Okay, that's too hard to read, too busy. And it can be something as simple as a font. All right, but um, uh huh. All right, so things have to be cleaned up. All right, okay. No type over type. Let's get those things cleaned up and get out the template. Okay, uh, a couple things on this one. Let's. Uh, it's. It's good, I like this, but let's clean that up. That is, it needs to be done in Illustrator so it's scalable. I like that you have this text. It looks good, it looks good with this, and we see what you do, love it. Uh, when we go here, let's make that a little bigger, maybe bring that box down to here, okay? So that it's coming off the page like it was earlier. Um, or shorten this, that would probably work, bring that up to here. Shorten the depth and bring this up. Uh, too much on the family pets. Why? Because they're not really uh, gridded. And, you know, that's a cute picture. It needs to be cropped a little down here. But, you know, that's for your personal site. Uh, one pet, maybe, with a great photo that explains, you know, what you've said here. But... You might want to cut things down and just put your dog there. Um, yeah, you don't need all that. Take out family pets. If you want to put your dog here somewhere, um, probably cut this down and fit your little dog in there. But uh, not, not so much, not so much. You've got one twice. So, you know, if you want to take another one that's this good of your pets, that'd be great because people would say, oh, we can hire him to take pets photos, but they've got to be really good. Uh, I love this. I love what you've done, but we can't use somebody else's logos. Think about that. I thought it looked like you were a graphic designer, uh, but I think you're saying you're the community moderator. So maybe you're both, but I don't see that. I'm not getting that. Um, so you need something, uh, that, that will communicate that you are the moderator of this kind of, uh, this type of thing, but it can't be somebody else's logo. And besides it, it looks like you're a graphic artist. Okay. All right. Uh, that font, I, I would try and stay consistent with your fonts. Okay. Okay. All right. But otherwise, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Um, yeah, just let them know what you do. All right. Good job. All right. So this works out really well. I've been looking through it. Great shots. Uh, this you can take off. All right. This is your portfolio, and I have rewritten the instructions, so that's probably clear. I This font, not such a fan of. Okay, it's not quite working. Um, 
It might work in all caps, but uh, these are great. Um, this, you might, I haven't looked at this, but you might want to bring it up to here. If this doesn't, this is something that's important. I'm seeing apocalypse. If this isn't, uh, if this is getting into something dark, let's not put it with your wedding stuff, all right? Really important. And this is probably going to be your bread and butter. So I would work with this and move that because uh, brides will take the time to look very closely at your work. Um, and we don't want it to be associated. It's just like when I worked for the newspaper, if there was a plane crash, you couldn't put a plane ad on the same page. The plane uh, airlines would you know, be very upset about that. So you didn't put a story of a plane crash next to an ad for an airline, okay? So that's what you want to think about too. You've got to make sure that you are supporting your brand on every page. Um, you got to be really careful about splitting things up. I wouldn't bother putting phone. Most people don't want to give it to you and it would shorten your page, but you know, I see it's an option. Um, but yeah, that's what I would think about. This uh, looks like a company uh, or some sort of um, copyrighted organization because it's all caps. So unless we put caps here, it wouldn't make sense. And I'm not sure it should be caps. Just, just yours. Okay, good. Um, okay. It's a nice sharp image. Probably clean that up. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to let that go. Usually you want to get straight into your about. You could have your mission be the, the thing they scroll to, but. Okay. All right. I think you know what you're doing. I clicked through. Uh, just, you know, I would be very careful. I would definitely go with the wedding stuff. Uh, all fits together. Um, yeah. That's what I would do. All right. Okay, left align all of that text. Uh, we've got blue, that color. Too many different fonts going on, way too many different fonts. Go back in, change the name of this, whatever you have to do, okay? Fix that misspelling. Uh, okay. Don't need to say that. There, just clean up. Go back and look through some of the other things. Clean up. Also, gotta have uh, navigation. Definitely have to have navigation. So, let's clean some stuff up. All right. Take some things out. You don't need all that. And uh, if you don't have reviews, take that out. Nothing coming soon. Disable that. Make sure this is going to professional and not an update this. You've got to spend some work on this, some time on it. All right. It's not hard. It can be fun, but you've got to put the time aside, everybody. Uh, love this. Um, too many logos. Okay. Too many potential logos. This needs to be white. If we're going to go with that font, we need to bring things up. Uh, this needs to be centered because this is centered. Um, Probably don't need your drop shadow to be quite so offset. That needs to be more legible. This is a different font. Um, spacing, look for the spacing between above pumpkin head and God's home. Should be consistent. I love the shots. I got to tell you, the shots are sharp. They're really great. I like what you're doing. The story they're telling, how sharp this is, focus, clouds, that is really easy to read. Um, so, but this, yeah, it, it stays with the aesthetic, but it isn't, you want to get into something. I recommend something like that or that or that something, uh, I think. But... And this is all the, the photos you need. So maybe you just need a, a photo page 
and a video page. So less scrolling, just a couple of clicks. This, let's clear that, bring it down. Uh, I, this, you know, still needs to be higher contrast, probably white. This font isn't, we've got a little too many fonts. This is okay, uh, but this, mm, I think I would bring this over here on one line and say hello down here. Hello, my name is. Uh, hello, comma, my name. One sentence. See, just too many logos. So take something out. Take two out. Okay. I don't get this editor, producer, cinematography idea at all. Okay? I'm not picking up on that. Uh, this is an issue. So take those out and... If your main work is going to be editor, producer, cinematography, then, you know, just put it up here. Stack it up there or something. Um, you've got this as a logo and actually that as a logo. So I would do something about that. Okay, either take that out and use that. I don't really like when words are slanted. Um, the logo is one thing, but all right. So that's the thing. You got to get these things where we can see exactly what it is you want to do and uh, bring that stuff down. Okay. Just some cleanup, really. Good. All right. Good job. Okay. And that was researching. Okay. All right, everybody. I really like seeing where you're going. It's a good start for some of you, but you have to spend the time in to get it where you want it to be. Um, you know, you've got the work, um, and now you should be getting up to speed with your CMS. So I would like to see everything just organized and put in there um, in a nice clean way, align everything, and uh, you're going to like what you have when you're done, all right? All right, everybody, I'm really excited to see where this is going because I know you're all going to be able to implement those things. Good job.